everybody, and welcome back to Emerald Coast. We have made it to the middle of summer, and uh, we have got to uh, run down to the Southern Buffet. Uh, we've got a guy who has uh, is willing to help us haul some cows today, and uh, he called me a little bit ago from the Southern Buffet, said he uh, got into town and uh, drove down there. And uh, is basically waiting on us. We're gonna go ahead and uh, head on into town there, and uh, see about uh, see about getting some cow cattle today. Today is the best day to uh, pick up cattle, so we're gonna see uh, if we can get about a hundred or so. We've uh, just got back from checking our fields out, uh, kind of washing the truck off a little bit. Corn has uh, come up out of the ground fairly nice, and our wheat and barley that wasn't quite ready uh, last month is now ready to rock and roll. So we can uh, get to work on bringing that in also. But uh, the other thing that we're going to look at here once we pick up our cattle is we're going to have to top them up with, uh, with food. And depending on how much uh, total mixed rations they take, we may need to uh, basically trade in our our mixer for a larger uh, larger mixer. So that's something we also need to uh, to check out today. But uh, we're just coming up here to Dollar General, I believe, and then the next one will be the uh, Southern Buffet. Here's our Dollar General. And let's see here. Told me he was parked around back. They didn't really have a good spot for uh, for truck parking. Uh, and they asked him to park around back. I'm just going to park in here. Alright. Let's leave our... Oh, there's a trailer. We'll just leave our pickup there for the day, and uh, we'll ride along with this guy. He told me he brought a massive double-decker uh, trailer, and oh my, this thing is huge. He came all the way up from uh, over from Texas with this thing. You know, they do grow things bigger in Texas, but I had no idea that they also grew trailers this big. Holy cow. Should make fairly quick work of, of hauling 100 cows. And uh, he's got this beautiful, beautiful Mack truck to uh, to haul it with. Apparently the, the Mack is from Kansas. <laughs> the trailer is from Texas. And here we are in Florida. I don't think, uh, I don't think this truck knows where it is. But it tells me it does have quite the miles on it. Look at that thing. Oh my goodness. That thing is massive. Hopefully we'll be able to uh to navigate. You know able to navigate the road. So there is right in front of us. That's uh the last cornfield that we put in. And the cornfield right next to it. At this point, we got three fields of corn. And we're going to try to put in four fields of soybeans. Now, we didn't um, we didn't plow these two fields. Uh, they needed plowing 10 and 12. Uh, but we did not plow those fields simply because of the fact that uh, well, we really didn't have the time to do the plow job. Um and get the corn in the ground before the uh, the end of our planting season. So we will uh, we'll do those up. We'll plow those up uh, once once we get the corn off of them. Probably over winter. We have uh, plenty of time. All right. Let's see if we can't get this trailer backed in here. Like I said, I don't know how many cows we're going to be able to to fit into this thing. 
pull up and get a little better angle on this thing. I had a feeling I was going to run into that road sign. We're not even going to try to uh, back this thing up in first person, that's for sure. Alright, that should do it. Let's see, we want cows. We can get 28. Just 28 cows in this trailer, eh? Let's see, do we have the real looking cows or do we have the South American looking cows? There they are. We got real looking cows. There's there's some trailers that for some reason um let's let's back up here. That for some reason when uh when Platinum came out, they now have uh the South American cows in them versus the uh the normal cows. Uh, when you load them up. So I don't know if that's a uh, function of the map or if that's a function of maybe how they have called the cows or something. I don't know. But this trailer appears to work. So I think we're going to do, let's go, I guess we'll do four trips um, with this trailer. And uh, we'll see about... Uh, See about doing that. That should be pretty good. Take a, a big old turn here. And I still need to turn traffic back on. From uh, from when we were doing some course play stuff. Maybe we'll do that once we uh, once we unload here. So I'm hoping that we'll have enough money, uh, and I won't have to uh, to sell some compost. Sold a little bit of compost the other day and this morning uh, in preparation. Wanted to make sure that I had enough in the bank to uh, to do this transaction today. But yeah, we're we're definitely going to have to uh, see how much uh, power food these cows are, are going to take because if they're going to take a whole lot of power food uh, we might need to make three or four batches every couple of days it might benefit us to get a bigger mixer the mixer we got now lasts about two and a part feedings uh, maybe three feedings so, so if we go in um, we go from a hundred and uh, or if we go from 20 cows to 21 cows now to a hundred and what 30 some then uh, then we just might have to uh, well we just might have to get a bigger mixer also a little worried about how much uh, poo how much manure we're gonna have to uh, clear out of the uh, oh and look at that she just fits she just fits under there oh I think we are stuck on something that's fine and load our cow and let's head off for another load So let's for some added fun. Let's put traffic back on. Right? For added entertainment. There we go. I think what might be uh most most effective is to uh to come at the uh, the animal buy point from this direction then to uh, to come at it from the other direction and try to turn in 
We might do one trip that way just for funsies sake. Let's we'll see how much uh, how much grass we have in the uh, pasture once we add these cows. Remember the graze mod should keep up with our um, with us adding uh, the cows in. But uh, the other f elements, the straw, the water, and the power food, uh, it won't keep up. We'll have to obviously add more in. There's our cornfield. And we've also been looking at maybe... Maybe picking up another field. Thinking about picking up field 16. It's got canola in it, I believe. So, field 16 is still there and ready to harvest. Um, that would get us maybe five fields of soybeans going into, uh, into autumn. Uh, we'll just have to see how things pan out and everything. It's like some some of our farmers have uh, started harvesting their crops. They took their cue from us and uh, and pulling those in. All right. Can get ourselves a second load. Right. Thirty six hundred dollars a cow. They will be a lot more expensive tomorrow. That is most assured gonna happen all right let's let's take a look at that so here we have our cow prices over the last year and you can see that they've been slowly falling since early spring and uh, basically this is the rock bottom point and then starting tomorrow they're gonna start climbing back up uh, working our way back down in early autumn but then they just keep on working up and never, never get down to the point where we are right now. Now is time to buy. Been patient and waiting for this point. It's definitely going to be well worth it in uh, in money savings. That's for sure. All right, let's. Here. I fell out of the truck. Oh, I fell out of the truck, guys. This truck was made before they had seatbelts. <laughs> Gotta make sure that I don't lean on that door. Oh, thank goodness nobody ran over me. <laughs> that would have been the end of our 10-year adventure right there. Boy, that would have been, uh, I guess that would have been, uh, um, what is it, what is it when they say, when it's, uh, um, anticlimactic, right? That would have been that would have been anticlimactic. The ten-year journey that ends after one and a half years, because the uh, farmer fell out of the truck and got run over. Should be good to go with our grass. They should be it should be fully fertilized. Um, 
We're going to let it grow a little bit more. See what we're doing um, in late summer. We might give it a late summer cut, or we might hold out and uh, and go for a a early autumn cut. But uh, but really, it's going to depend on uh, on where we stand with with what else we got going on. Just remember, in addition to the uh, in addition to the four fields of wheat and barley that we now have ready to go. We also have uh, our field of poplar ready to harvest. Not quite. So we're going to have to bring that poplar in at some point. And that might be a uh, that might be a late autumn, or not a late autumn, but a late summer job. All right, well, we can see that they need power food now. They need water. And it uh, wouldn't surprise me if they start needing straw here pretty soon. Two trips. I think we might. Uh, I think we might see about uh, possibly buying this truck uh, from the guy and uh, getting rid of our uh, our international grain truck. Uh, it's that's. It's done us good for now, but I'm thinking we might want to, uh, might need to upgrade a little bit on that. I don't know. We'll have to see. Let's we'll see what the, uh, what the guy says about this. You know, I suspect he's kind of grown, uh, attached to this truck and may not be willing to let it go. Or, uh. For a price that's reasonable. Yeah, I can imagine. Well, we're we're halfway there, right? Two loads, seventy-seven cows. Two more loads, about a hundred thousand each. So we will have. Oh. Just, just not wide enough there. So I have a hundred thousand, uh, hundred thousand dollars each load. So we'll have right around fifty-two thousand uh, dollars by the end of uh, of our cattle purchasing. We'll have to see. Let's see how much money we got for our um, for that food mixer. If we even have enough money to uh, pick up that food mixer right away. We will get some trade-in value off the old mixer, but uh, it's a pretty standard model. Not, uh, not a lot special about that, um, that old mixer. So... Might not get as much money as we uh, hope out of that thing. All right, we don't want to take out that street sign. will put us over a hundred cows. Put 
So we should be around 140... 40 ish. Close to that. Right? Alright. I was extra careful to, uh, to not lean on that door too much this time. Didn't want to fall out. Risk my luck too many times, then I'm not going to be as uh, fortunate as that cat. Because I don't think, I don't think I got nine, nine lives to deal with. Def definitely used one up there, back there earlier. So guys, if you've got suggestions or ideas. Uh, related to this series, uh, please drop them over in uh, my Discord. I've got a uh, special channel set up for Emerald Coast suggestions. Uh, come on by and uh, give me some suggestions on on maybe things to do, things to try, um, things to shoot for. I've had people ask me, "What's what's the end game? Is the goal to own all the fields after 10 years, um, or what's the goal?" And I was like, the goal is to make it 10 years. Uh, that's really the only goal. And really just play it out and uh, see where things take us. Because no, I, I don't even have a clue where we're going. I might have a general idea from you know, an episode or two ahead as to uh, what we'll be doing. But uh, beyond that, not really. Five. Should also get a lot better reproduction now out of these guys. Definitely get a lot more milk. Um, um winter. Hey, watch it. Jeez, man. Barring this truck. Did you all slow down and see that I'm trying to pull out with a giant trailer? Speaking of the Grays mod, let's go ahead and take a look at that. So, yeah, look at that. So you can see we're at 105 cows. We're at 12% on our food, on our water, and our base food, and our power food. And our straw is starting to drop. Uh, but we are holding steady strong at 66% grass. That is the graze mod working there. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, I'm not really sure how many... Uh, is the max that the uh, pasture will hold. When I was doing some pre-release testing on this map, I kind of deduced that it was around 150. We'll see how that really holds out because we're going to have uh, 130, what, 5 and 8, 42 cows. Is that what we're going to end up with? 132. It's going to be more than 32. It's going to be 142, maybe. 28 plus 5. No, it's 132. That's what we're going to end up with. That'll leave some room for, uh, for the cows to um, reproduce. 
once we figure out where our happy medium is, then we'll know um, how many cows we can get rid of every year to, to kind of make sure that we are at that good point. And I think the best time to sell cows is late winter. Um, we'll have to look and verify that. But uh, that seems to be, I think, if I remember right, best time to, uh, to sell them. Um, no, actually, the best time to sell is early early winter. Is uh, is when we'll get the best money for our cattle. So. That might be pretty convenient to uh, to all of that because they stop reproducing at the end of summer, and then we will know uh, we won't have to carry them. The cows will eat the most food over winter, so if the best time to sell them is early winter, that is definitely the best time to thin them down. Uh, before they really consume a whole heap load of food. Let's see here. Whoa! I wanted to do one turn in uh, in cab. Didn't have the head tracking on, so it's kind of blind. Line turn. Alright, so what we're going to do is when we get up here, we're going to uh, unload these. And we're going to hop out and uh, run over and get them some water. And uh, get them um, a bale of straw, I think. For bedding. And then um, give them some power food. And just see how much a full load of power food does for them. Uh, winter, winter is when they're going to eat the most. So we can uh, if we can get by here for the first uh, little bit of summer. With our current mixer, and we can save a little money, I think, in not having to uh, swap out the mixer right away. Just have to see. How that all fares. Oh. No. Definitely get more milk production out of these than, uh, than we had out of our 20. That's for sure. Watch out for a utility pole. All right. Or 33. There we go. All right. Over the fence here. Just check out the Graze Mod stats. Got 26,000 liters in the cow pasture still. Let's top them up with water. Oh. 
taking a whole heap ton of water. Look at that. 24, 2,500 gallons and still ticking up. Let's go ahead and get a couple bales out of here. Let's get three out. And let's get uh, two out of here. Okay. So one straw bale will be for our um, straw. Then the other bales be for our power food mix. I'm going to go ahead and uh, assume that we're going to need to mix up two loads of power food. Oh, and uh, I got was reminded just now about the uh, what happened when I picked up that bucket, skid steer bucket, in the last video. And I have to say, I thought I was going to have to reset both of those back to the uh, to the arable farm, but I didn't. It only took a only a few more minutes after after I stopped recording, I was able to. Uh, Basically, um, finagle the uh, the skid steer in the bucket free of the building collision, and was able to uh, to then basically get get free, like I said, and uh, go about my ways. So. We're going to try to uh, come in and out the same way so we don't uh, we don't trample on any new grass. When we do drive over here we are uh, we are cutting down the grass a bit. We haven't had rain in what six seven days. And, uh, and that area right there is still muddy. Thanks be to the, uh, I guess the water trough must be leaking or something. Where did I put, where did I put that tractor? Around here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Then um, we will pick up some sheep in autumn. That's when the best pi time to buy sheep will be. In, I think, mid-autumn. We're not going to buy any more pigs. We're going to let our pigs reproduce and just uh, populate themselves. So we've got almost a full load of power food right here. Let's see what this does for us. We're at eight percent. Let's see if, see if we get up to uh, see if we get over twenty five percent. If we don't get over twenty five percent, we're definitely going to have to uh, get another mixer. Because um, having to do like five or more loads. Every three days is going to be really, really time consuming. 16%, 19%, 22%. All right. So at 20 some percent, the uh, amount needed goes away. So we're up at 36%. So that's basically three loads every, uh, every three days. Thankfully, it doesn't take that long to mix up these loads. I think what we're going to do is we're going to head off here, guys. I want to thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please click the like button. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, 
Uh, what are you uh, What are you waiting on? Think about going ahead and subscribing. We do Let's Play videos here on Emerald Coast on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. We do map videos typically on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And like I said, if you've got any suggestions on maybe things to do on Emerald Coast, uh, things to try, um, whatever, come on over to my Discord and post it in the Emerald Coast Suggestions channel. That'll be cool. So until next time, guys, happy farming.